Zoozers, or perhaps not Zoozers, today we're going to discuss the difference between cable brakes and hydraulic brakes. So while many bikes today come with disc brakes, there is a big difference in how you apply pressure to that disc. And there are two options. The first is a cable brake, which means this clamping mechanism is actuated by a cable, like this. The cable goes through this tube to this lever. The second method uses fluid. When you pull this lever, in here there is a piston that puts pressure on a liquid that travels through the tube to the caliper to squeeze the brake pads onto the brake disc. They both essentially do the same thing, but there's a big difference in power and feel, which translates to performance and safety. And today we're gonna explain why you only wanna go with a hydraulic disc brake. So first I'll say something nice about this cable disc brake. We actually don't have any. We've never run cable disc brakes on any of our bikes. So I had to go out and buy one. And I bought this one from Zoom. They're a widely used company. And the difference between this one and most others is that it has a double actuator, which means this lever is pushing on the brake pad from both sides. Now that's good because then you're gonna get equal pressure on both sides of the disc but many cable brakes only push from one side, which basically you're getting half the stopping power that you otherwise would, and you're gonna put a lot of flex in the disc. Now, I do see a lot of cable disc brakes on bikes out there, and most of them do have only a single side. And the question is, why would anybody run that? And the answer is cost. The cost of this kind of a brake is much, much more inexpensive than a hydraulic disc brake. So if you're looking for the best deal out there and it has cable brakes, that's a main contributor why, but you might want to think again. There's also one other inherent flaw with a cable brake, and that is the cable itself. When you use this lever, it's going to pull this cable, which is going to pull down here, and that cable is held in by a bolt that applies pressure. And with overuse, that can slip, which means you're gonna lose braking power, perhaps entirely, and perhaps in a moment when you need it most. Now, hydraulic brakes do cost more, but we think it's worth the investment, so I wanna go through a couple points as to why they're superior, and a lot of it has to come down to feel. Now, it's hard to feel feel without actually feeling the feel, but, we're gonna explain it to you here and hopefully you'll have the chance to get on both and see what we have made. So to review, a hydraulic brake uses fluid to actuate the brake pads onto the brake disc. There is a piston and cylinder inside here and a little reservoir of fluid which enters at this cap right here. When you press the lever, it's going to pass fluid through this tube down to the caliper and it's going to compress the brake pads from both sides, which gives you equal pressure and equal wear. Now, the interesting thing about hydraulics or any liquid in general is that liquid doesn't compress. So as you press this, it's going to press the caliper at an equal rate, which will give you braking preciseness and power. Now, beyond general use case of a hydraulic brake, you wanna consider the quality of the brake itself. About a year ago, we were using hydraulic zoom brakes and we switched to a new company called Simonix. Now they're not very well known because they make brakes for companies like us and we'll put our logo on it. But we tested them and visited their facility and after thorough evaluation of this brand versus other very well-known brands, we were actually surprised to find these guys come out on top. And we think it's one of the most superior products on the market and we wouldn't offer anything less. I hope this has been informative and guides your e-bike or braking journey. I hope that you guys stay safe, have fun, and always feel the thrill. Right, Peter?